Hi, I'm Joe, and I'm the Accidental Brewer. Hola, soy Gisela y soy la Accidental. Oh my God. All right. And so today we are going to make a mold wine and a mold juice in preparation for the holiday season. And uh, I think we're doing a new shtick where we uh, we say both English and Spanish so that we can capture both heritages here. So Gisela's going to say what I just said, I think, right? Yep. Or close enough to it. Okay. Um, hoy vamos a estar haciendo dos bebidas. Una va a ser alcohólica y la otra no va a tener alcohol. Oh. Y hoy vamos a estar haciendo donde él habla es inglés y yo español. All right. And first, we are going to do the non-alcoholic mold fruit punch. This is the one that Hassel is going to drink. When we drink it a little bit later. Primero vamos a hacer la bebida que no tiene alcohol y esa va a ser la que yo voy a poder tomar. All right, and so that's going to be up here, and I'm going to put it in Spanish and English so you get the recipe. Um, and I'll call out each of the things as we're doing it. But uh, here's the pot. And first thing we're going to need to do is put one cup of cloudy apple juice, and we got some honey crisp apple cider blend. Primero vamos a hacer una taza de jugo de manzana todo bien. La vamos a echar en esta olla. Sweet. All right, here I go. Just trying to get this out. It's not open. I should have opened this beforehand. All right. Why was that so messy? One cup. All right. And then next we're going to put half a cup of cranberry juice. Media copa de cam Cranberry jugo. Oop, made a little bit of a mess. The recipe sheet. All right. All right. And that's about half of this. It does. This is uh doesn't have to be exact. All right. Half a cup. And then a quarter or one half of a large orange sliced. We have a uh, sun-kissed navel orange here. Media taza de una naranja en rodajas. Because I'm seriously losing some juice in here. Doop. And this was supposed to be sliced. It isn't sliced. But it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. All right. So. Next is one small cinnamon stick. Siguiente, una ramita de canela. Okay. All right. And I'm going to adjust this on the fly to make it taste and have a little bit more liquid because this is a large pot. Le vamos a echar otro poquito de naranja. Jugo de naranja. Yeah. One cup. Una copa de jugo de naranja. Of orange juice and we're using simply orange pulp free orange juice all right now it says um, one cardamom pod una vaina de card una vaina de Card oh God, Cardamomo. Una vaina de cardamomo. <laughs> cardamomo, cardamomo, major gudu. Um, and then uh, five cloves. One, Cinco two, clavos de olor. Three, four, five. Five cloves. All right. And. Well, it says dark brown sugar, but all we have is light brown sugar, so we're adding light brown sugar because we didn't buy the right stuff. So we're going to put in um, one fourth of a cup of light brown sugar. Un cuarto de un cuarto de taza de azúcar morena. Yep, and we need to put in some star anise. Some what? Yeah. One more. Estrella. I don't speak Spanish well. Just one? 
Yep, just one. Just two grams. Two grams. Or one. One is going to be Dos gramos de anis de estrella. Put all these into it says a saucepan but I have a pot um, and we're gonna bring it to a boil and then um, yeah we'll strain it and drink it Lo vamos a dejar que herpa. all right that's the first one now the second one is gonna be a little bit bigger so this is the one that I'm gonna drink um, because it wouldn't be the accidental brewer if I didn't make something that, you know, was kind of alcoholic. But it's got honey. It's got wine. And it should do not get a very expensive wine for this. You say, they say to get a cheap wine. So get an inexpensive wine. Vino. Um, es la siguiente bebida es la que él va a tomar y tiene alcohol va a llevar Sorato. va a llevar miel va a llevar un vino que sea barato mm -hmm. yeah. um, so 750 milliliters or one bottle of wine inexpensive wine Una botella de vino que no sea, que sea barato. The good thing about having a bottle of inexpensive wine is I can use the bottle and I get free wine. I get a bottle with free wine. All right. put one half of a cup of my favorite whiskey or brandy and I'm using Wild Turkey 101. Media copa de whiskey del que ustedes prefieran. All right and then four cups of cloudy cider. says one fourth of a cup of honey Just make sure that this thing's opened it was not un cuarto de miel miel I did not know that that was the word for honey in Spanish that is, miel. That is the word miel did you know that the some of the things that we've made have been called hydromels or in Spanish there would be hydromiel I would be willing to bet or aquamiel that's pretty cool mm -hmm. oh no all right so I don't care if it gets a little extra honey no importa si echan más miel All right, can you hold that for me for a moment, just like that? Thank you. All right, so it wants me to put two cinnamon sticks. Dos ramitas de canela. And um, so then it wants me to juice and, or and zest an orange. So I'm gonna do that right now, but I just realized I didn't bring out my zester, so I gotta zest 
little orange zest going on here. Oh, and we've got this boiling nicely. So we'll go ahead and turn this down. It says to let simmer for 10 minutes. All right. I'm going to use this to zest my orange. And then I'm going to put the juice of the rest of the orange in here. Una naranja rallada y exprimida. I'm not doing a good job of zesting this orange. At least this time I don't have a cut, which was terrible last time. Horrible. You also had a cut. Yeah. I didn't know anything about. I should have known about it, but I didn't. Well, this is all. That's the way honey is. It's super sticky. Hard to get out. All right. Which I'm actually going to add some nutmeg to this. That's not in the recipe, but I'm going to add some nutmeg to it. Mm -hmm. All right. And so you hear my dog in the background. He is just like, he's like, please give me food. You're sitting in here. You're making things that smell delicious. Two, three. I'm going to put three in. Okay. Three star anise goes inside. Vamos a echar tres anise de estrellas. Says to put four or five cloves. And wait, can I say it? Can I try to say it? Yeah. Clavos de alor. Cinco clavos de alor. All right, awesome. Good job. Thank you. All right, so that's five. And um, let's see, where are we with the recipe? Um, that's it according to this. I feel like it might need a little bit more, but I'm going to taste it. I want to put a cardamom pod in it. So I've had mold wine before. I know I like cardamom pods in my mold wine, so I'll put one in there. My cardamomo. Cardamomo, right. That's at least according to Google Translate. Um, all right, so now we're going to boil this one. Ahora vamos a hervir esa. And so the, the non-alcoholic fruit punch is boiled for 10 minutes. La bebida que no tiene alcohol ya hirvió por 10 minutos. And after it comes to a boil, you turn it down to a simmer. To what? A simmer. Luego que ya ha hervido, la traes a fuego bajo. Okay. Um, for this... For this alcoholic fruit punch, it's basically the same thing. I could, you can put the spices in a bag, or uh, you can just put them in the saucepan. You bring it to a boil. Once it's brought to a boil, you reduce to a simmer and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Una vez que hierva, reduzco el fuego a medio bajo para que el contenido hierva a fuego lento. Luego, puedes echar las, todos los condimentos en una bolsa o yeah. So, um, just to kind of explain all that, this is basically the same recipe. It's just one is for a mulled wine and one's for mulled juice. Las recetas son lo mismo, nada más que una es para vino y la otra es para jugo. A little longer than a few minutes later. So, we got two mugs. We got a few minutes left. This one is pretty much done. It's been going for 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna turn it off, put it on the warmer zone, and let it just kind of sit there for a few, and then we'll strain it into our mug, and then we'll taste it here in front of you and see if we like it. Now. Ahora tenemos dos tazas. Um, la primera bebida ya está. Solo la vamos a dejar que se el un poquito, luego la vamos a probar en frente de ustedes. 
one eternity later. All right. All right. So here we are. We've now done our thing, and it's now time to taste it, see if it's any good. So I'm gonna let his cellar go first. It smells wonderful in here, by the way. So. Is it a little bit too what? We can adjust this right now. It's not bad. It's not bad? You like it? I personally think that I can improve this a little bit because it has all the flavors that I love and the wine's good in there and everything. But it needs a little bit of that brown sugar nut. So I think I'm gonna put a little bit of brown sugar in, in this while it's still hot. And then I'm gonna see if that helps it out any. Because it's got all the rest of the spicy notes that it should have. I added some brown sugar to this. Um, I think it is, well you say it. Um, el añadió más azúcar al de él. Y la mía está bien. Está un poco... It was like a... Like a está un poco dulce. Y, pero, pero sabe bien. Oh, that's perfect. Perfecto. Mm. So I don't know how to say all this in Spanish, but I'd love to be able to tell you, for any of our Spanish viewers, how wonderful it is. But basically, with a little bit of brown sugar and the honey, you get like some molasses and honey notes, and then you've got all the citrus flavors, and it's just good. <laughs> and it's a nice hot drink on a winter's night, like tonight. It's, you know, nighttime when we're filming this. And it's not freezing outside, but I'm probably going to take this outside and set and drink the rest of it because it's going to be so good. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like, um, so, uh, this has been the Christmas episode of the Accidental Brewer. Uh, we still have a holiday beer to make, but that's just going to be like probably at the beginning of January. Thank you for watching this episode of The Accidental Brewer. This has been our Christmas episode. Gracias por ver este episodio de La Bebida. And we uh, hope that you'll watch uh, all of our episodes, of course, uh, but we really appreciate every view that you give us. Esperamos que vean todos los videos de nosotros y gracias. If you make a warm holiday punch or mulled wine, Please comment down below and let us know and tell us your experience. Si hacen una bebida caliente, por favor, déjenos saber en los comentarios. Otherwise, please give us a like, smash that bell to uh, hit subscribe, and um, all the other things that you're supposed to do for YouTube. Denos un like y la campanita y suscríbanse a nuestro canal. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Happy New Year. Feliz Año Nuevo. <laughs>